I'm starting a vlog. I'm Rob, I'm a Jesuit, and you'll get to know more about that along the way. I wouldn't Google it for now though, because you'll just end up with conspiracy theories. I'm from Malta, and you'll get to see more of this small island once this situation passes. But for now, let's go on the roof, and I'll show you a bit around the island. Those are the trees of the time-lapse. That's the church of Nashar, that's the south. Uh, over there would be the west, and that right there is Imdina. There's the north, and over here, that's all sea. And actually, if we turn around all the way back, I'll show you that over here, I can see the sea also. I'm not sure if it comes good in the video. Cool. So let's get back to it. So we're back in my room because I wanted to speak to you about this vlog. I've been thinking about this vlog for over a year. The thing is that it's been the busiest year of my life, I would say. And it doesn't look like it's going to let up anytime soon. So I just decided to stop making excuses and get down to doing it. The reason behind this vlog is I want to make fun videos for you to watch, for you to enjoy watching. I want to practice and get better at making videos and telling stories through videos, to be able to share them with you. Everything feels so surreal at the moment, and wherever you are in the world, we're going through the same situation, in pretty similar ways. Adjusting to new normals, spending a lot more time inside. And this takes me to what I want to share with you today. But for this, let's go somewhere else. So I came down to the workshop because it's the quietest place in the house at the moment. I tried to do this somewhere else, but <laughs> there was a rooster crowing all the time. I've actually changed house. I've come to a new Jesuit community to help out and take care of the Jesuits over here until we, we get through all of this. With everything that's going on in the world at the moment, there's a lot of uncertainty. And with that uncertainty comes fear. Fear of the unknown and fear of the future. The thing is that fear is in relation to the future. Danger is present, danger is now. But fear has to do with something bad that might happen in the future. And this leaves us feeling isolated and alone, like we need to get through this alone. And this is where hope can come in. Because hope is in relation to the future. I mean, hope is the hope that something good could happen in the future. It's the opposite of fear. And hope actually puts us in relation to others. It opens us up. The thing is, it's not that easy to just switch from fear to hope. And it's not about eliminating all fear with hope. It's more about letting them live in tension with each other. Because both hope and fear are motivators. They show us that there's something in our life, an area where we can grow in, where we can get better. Fear is a prompt and hope is a way. Fear shows us that we have to survive something and hope is all about why we want to survive it. About finding a reason why we want to get through it. But how can you find hope when you're afraid or scared? The best way for this is through good news. If you think about all the news we're hearing at the moment, I mean numbers, people getting sick, it just feels a bit suffocating sometimes and makes you a bit afraid. But then when it comes to hearing, I don't know, that uh, people are getting better or maybe numbers are going down, or even seeing those drawings that children are doing and putting in the windows, it just gives you that spark of hope. That good news just like breaks through and makes you feel like things are going to be okay. Like we can get through this. And that's what hope is. So when you're feeling isolated alone, look for that light at the end of the tunnel. Look for that thing that could bring hope. 
And while you're at it, maybe you could share some good news with someone else. Share some good news to bring some hope to them. And this is just my two cents of what I'm feeling and what we're going through at the moment. I hope it brought some light to the end of your tunnel and it made you feel a little bit more like things are going to be okay and we will get through this together. Comment on this video, let me know what you think, share it with your friends and subscribe. And in the description, I'll leave my Twitter and Instagram. Follow me on there and I'll keep you up to date with what I'm doing. I'll see you next time. Cool?